Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make your TikTok account private, how you can hide your content and prevent other people to download your videos. This is a big issue recently and let me launch the TikTok app and let me show you how you can do that. So first thing guys, all you're gonna do, you wanna click on the lower right corner and you wanna click on your profile icon. Then you want to go ahead and click on the three straight lines on the upper right. Then launch the settings and privacy menu. Over here guys, all I want you to do is to click on the second option in the menu which is privacy. And over here guys, you are able to click on the first option which is private account. This is very important because this simply will allow you to hide your content, to hide your followers, to hide uh, any interactions, you know, if you live stream to the followers only and not to the public, this simply will create this small society where you're going to be the only one who is like the main boss allowing who to see what and, and who to interact with you. You're not going to have random people coming and commenting. You're not going not gonna to have anyone downloading your videos and reusing them on the platform. This is how you can make your TikTok account private, guys. For more videos like this, subscribe and like this video. Hi, guys. In today's video, I'm going to give you a full tutorials breakdown step by step how to use TikTok. I'm going to show you how to publish, how to locate the most viral content, how to identify opportunities, how to monetize your TikTok and much more. Let's launch the TikTok app first. And let's start with the basics, guys. Let's click on the lower left corner at the home button. Okay, so over here, guys, you want to see that the feed on TikTok is a little different than any other social media. Why is that? Because TikTok has four different feeds. Okay, so if you look at the upper center of the screen, if I swipe to the left and then to the left, and then one left, right? There is a four different feeds. The first feed is the STEM feed, which is science, technology, engineering, and math. This is a default feed that comes to every single uh, device that has the TikTok app on it, okay? So this is simple math, engineering, science, interesting stuff, cool, like a discovery. When you swipe on the side, then you're gonna find the following. This is all the people that you're following and these people are posting content. This is your usual feed of the followers. Okay. The next one is the shops. This is a brand new feed where people who are running shops on the TikTok platform are selling items. Nothing special over here. Scrolling one more time, we're going back to where everything begins, right? We're here, we're on the For You page. This is what you might be interested, you might be liking. When you launch the app, guys, the default feed will be for you, will be people that you're not following. The next icon on the lower left will be friends. Here you will find all the people that are uh, following you and TikTok will essentially give you an option to follow them back if you want to. The second option over here next to it is the plus sign. This is where we're going to create a content. When you hit the plus sign, you are going to be forward to a new page where you're going to pick up a new piece of content. For example, we want to publish, let's say, this image over here. Then we're going to click next. So when we're over here, guys, before publishing on the right side, we will have a small intermediate menu. When you click the arrow, we can extend this menu with one additional function. If you want to add some text, we're going to click on the text button and we're going to add something that applies to the image itself. Remember, it cannot go out of the image itself. The text should be inside the image. The next option is the sticker, the question mark, the location badges. Something very similar that you have on Instagram Reels or Instagram Stories. The next one is the crop function. This is where you can essentially change the aspect ratio of the image if it's in the wrong aspect ratio. Next to it, you have the small 
filters you can apply to uh, all of the images if you select multiple images you can simply click apply all you can change the images to a different type of content is it a landscape is it a foot image is it a vibe image right based on the type of content you can change the type of filter the next one over here guys you will see this option is the individual editing if you don't want to use the filter the previous option then you can use the individual adjustments last but not least you can click save and you can download your progress you can download your edits and go ahead and publish this on other platforms such as twitter or instagram when you're ready to publish you want to click next and this is where is the final stage of the post guys we want to create a short title something that appeals and something that uh, people will be interested to watch for example ferrari monza test drive 2024 we put the timing and we can put very very particular hashtags or i love to put just a generic fyp so this can go uh, widely uh, popular not just for ferrari lovers or uh, people who are into cars essentially guys the next step will be to tag people if we have someone that is on the picture that we know has to be part of our friends then you're gonna click the location we're going to include our location and then you want to scroll down and here is something that you definitely want to know if you click on the red button on the post you're going to publish this content but if you click on left button which is drafts which i just did we just saved this post as a draft if you look over here going back to our account the draft appears next to our post how we're going to post this and continue publishing it you want to click on it then you want to click next and then you want to click post if you change your mind and if you want to delete the draft you want to go back to this menu you want to click select on the upper right you want to mark the image or the content and you want to click delete this is how simple it is guys to save a piece of content as a draft or publish piece of content so let's go back to the actual feed and let me show you how you can interact with the videos so if you look at over here this is a video from someone okay so let's say we want to re repost this video right so you want to click on the share button the share arrow under the comments okay and here you will have a couple of menus you have one two three menus the first menu you have a yellow button that it says repost you want to click on this and you just repost this piece of content it will appear when you go back to your account you want to swipe once in the right and twice on the right and this is where you're going to find the piece of content that we just reposted right if you want to undo the repost all we got to do is to repeat the process we want to click share and we're going to click on the yellow button it says remove repost we just did it this is how simple it is let's say you want to comment on this video right let's click on the comment section and let's say you want to reply to someone you can reply with the video if you look at the left side of the of the comment box there is a small camera icon this is where you can click and you can create uh, a video replying to the comments with a video you can also tag someone if you look at on the right side there is a add sign as well there is some emojis something else guys if you want to go to the account for example right and you want to follow the account you want to click follow you can message the account from here you can click on the arrow underneath and you will find suggested accounts sometimes the accounts could be similar to the one that you have already here so uh, what tiktok does is if you like someone if you follow someone tiktok will give you suggested accounts that you might be interested in following as well if you click on the upper right you have the option to share this account with other people or you have an option to block this account if you if you if you see the the last menu is report account block account or send message 
to some to someone with this account you can also share the account with with sms you can copy the link from the account you can send it to snapchat whatsapp messenger uh, you know tiktok message instagram message facebook and twitter what else i want to show you okay guys if we go back to the actual feed over here i want you to click on the upper left where there is a small icon it says live when you click on this we're going to launch all the people that are currently live this is the live feed this is uh, people who are currently live streaming from their homes from their workplaces and they're making a lot of money as you can see some of the people are using time uh, of 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 the day to sell items items that they're making items that are collectible as you can see this is a, looks like collectible item uh, other people are just streaming and you know having fun doing you know games or you know they're pretending that uh, you know as you can see the lady is playing video games there's a game behind her all of these people are getting paid by simply uh, having paid subscribers this is similar like patreon so people are paying them a small monthly subscription fee which will help them to to you know support them to keep making content to spend time online this is what really you know support the creators and it's it's interesting because there's so many different people for example we see this person is is collecting coins and probably selling the coins there are people who are active djs who are running parties like for hours and hours and hours uh, sometimes you would see like a pilots, like a truck drivers, like people in their jobs, in their professions. They're spending time live streaming, which is very, very interesting, guys. This is why I encourage most people who really want to focus making money on TikTok uh, to focus on live stream. Live stream is, is something that I believe is here to stay. And there will be a lot more people who will be live streaming. So the earlier you get in, the higher chances you have to build audience and become successful for more videos like this guys subscribe and like this video hi guys in today's video i'm going to show you how you can fight back if a tiktok actually uh, suspend your account or put your videos down or someone actually report your account for copyright issues i'm going to show you how you can actually reply and fight back the violation, get your content again up and running and everything to go as smooth as possible. Let's launch the TikTok app first. And I want you to go ahead and click on the lower right corner. Click on your profile so we can go on our landing page on our TikTok account. Then go ahead and click on the three straight lines on the upper right, then hit the settings and privacy. Very important guys, you want to scroll all the way to the bottom of the page and you want to click report a problem. Don't lose your time over here on popular topics and don't, don't even look through all this, okay? This is not going to help you at all. All you got to do is to click submit report and this is the message I prepared for you guys. As you can see, this is the message. You're going to craft this message in your own personal case and situation but this is the main concept you want to be very friendly hi there how are you remember people who are working on these cases they didn't ban your account or take your video down personally it was someone else okay this is completely different team from tiktok so you want to make sure you are very friendly you tell them hey you know i have a problem you know my videos were taken down or you know my account has been taken down you want to let them know that if this is uh, in terms of copyright issues, you want to tell them that, you know, according to Section 107 of the Copyright Act, which provides stationary framework for determining whether something is a fair use and identify certain types of uses, meaning if you use someone else's content for a criticism, for a comments, for a news reporting, for teaching, for scholarship and research, they should not be an issue you using the content. And this is the step number one. If your account was taken down for violation or, 
you know, some crazy reports that has nothing to do with actual content. Sometimes you, you just share a news and people report like a uh, violence or something, right? The second step is you want to utilize the pictures in the video section underneath. You want to go out there and see who else report on the same news or who else use the same content that you got copyright for. You're going to take a screenshot and you're going to tell TikTok, hey, these are other accounts on the platform who are using the same exact content and their content was not taken down. Only my content was taken down. Only my account was, you know, suspended. This is what you're going to tell them. So they're going to be able to review and, and they will say, oh, yeah, that's correct. You know, this is not violation. And you're going to get your account back. For more videos like this, guys, subscribe and come back for more.